Okay, to get started in this video, what we're going to do is make the hangman game. We need to think of a couple of things in hangman. So to start off with, I'm going to use a form to get information. Um, but before I do a form, uh, here's my form. You're going to notice that the action is going to go to the same web page. So when I click a button, the form is going to automatically go back to the same page. So what I want to do is first thing I want to do is just make a loop uh, and demonstrate a loop. So I've created a loop here in PHP. And if you're wondering how to do uh, things in PHP, sometimes what I do is I just go to uh, Google and go PHP uh, for loop. And then I can see an example and I might just copy the example and see what it does. This is a great one here. This does a number from, in fact, I'm going to change this and I'm just going to put this in right now and demonstrate instead of the loop I did here. Um, I'm going to just paste that loop I got from this website. So I'm going to copy the loop and the loop is going to go from 0 to 10 and it's going to echo the number is and then it's going to put uh, the variable. So let's take a look at uh, what the output is. So to see what the output is, I go to my website which is localhost. I create a subfolder in htdocs. Let me just go back here. You'll see in my drive C, I've got a folder for htdocs. That's where localhost resides. And inside of here, I just made a, a subfolder. Probably hangman would be a better name, but I called it poi. And inside here, uh, you'll see here's hangman.php, and that's the file I want to execute. So I go localhost poi, and you can see here's hangman.php. Uh, save today and I click on it and it says the number is zero number is one so that's an example of a for loop what I really want to do though is I don't want to loop from uh, zero I want to loop from 1 to 26 because there's 26 letters in the alphabet and so I can turn a number into a letter so let's see if I can figure out how to do 1 to 26 so I'd make this a 1 and I would make this a 26, and let's just see what happens. Uh, I'll hit save, and I'll hit refresh, and here you see the number is one, two, three, et cetera, all the way to uh, 26. So how do I turn letters into, um, numbers into letters? So uh, let's change this. And let's just say uh, the number, is, I'll leave this as the number is, but I want to make this a letter. And so I'm going to make another variable and I'll call this uh, letter. And I'm going to make it equal to the character of the number. And so to do characters, we use, oh, I guess I don't have a good example here. We use the three letters CHR and the number. And if I was to just do CHR and the number, which in this case will be the one to 26, um, it'll turn the ASCII of one uh, into a letter and so forth. Unfortunately, the letters don't start at one. If you uh, take a look at the ASCII chart, I'll just uh, quickly Google it to show you. Uh, let's do this one here. Um, you can see that the number, well, this is not, not a good example. Let's go to a different uh, chart. I want to do, here you go. Um, here's a better one. You can see number nine is slash T, which is tab. Number 10 is slash N. 
Uh, number 33 is the exclamation mark symbol. Number 37 is percent. The first letter actually comes at 65, and that's the letter A. So I want to start at 65. So what I'm going to do here is letter is going to be number 1 plus 64 more. And so number 1 is going to be 1 plus 64, which would be 65. And as you can see from the chart here, a 65 is the letter A. So what this should do is this should say the number dollar sign X um, plus uh, 64, I'll put that in brackets, <laughs> is CHR and I'll put this as letter. So let's save this and just see what this is going to look like. <laughs> I'll hit refresh and I didn't like that. Okay, let me, um, uh, I'm going to break the strings up. This is what I usually do in PHP is I put, I end the string, I put a dot to join the string and then I re do the string. Um, so that's how I join strings. And I think that's what the error was uh, when you have multiple. No, it was in line 14. Huh. Uh, where did I make a mistake cool. here? Why? It's so good. This is a student that did FMA. I don't know. The only reason, the only reason I watched the show is because it's actually the Obama's. Although, don't get me wrong. His arms. So. Oh, I forgot the semicolon. Oops. Took me a second to find that. Okay, uh, there we go. So here you go. So the number 1 plus 64 is character A, 2 plus 64 is B, and so forth. So um, there you go. Uh, you can see uh, the letters. So now what I want to do is I want to turn the letters into, not display letters, but I want these to be buttons. And to do the form, what I want is I actually want to um, not echo this, but I want to, I want to make it, um, I'll delete this for now. What I want to do is I'd want to echo a form uh, name equals, maybe uh, I'll call it, uh, and I can't, you can't put that quote because it'll end the string, so I put the single quote, and I'll call the form name uh, my letter or uh, letter guess or I'll just call it I'll just call it letter that's fine uh, value uh, might be the letter uh, A or maybe I want to make the value uh, one of the letters so if I want to do that I just add the variable called letter uh, to it and um, type is going to be a submit button. And the reason I use a submit button is because, uh, let me hit save and let's refresh here. The reason I use a submit button is because um, I want when I press it, uh, it to be triggered. I uh, wonder what's not quite right here. Well, here's the uh, here's what I actually want. So I'll just copy that. I know that works. I'm not sure what typo I made, but here you go. Echo input type is submit. Name is letter guest. The value is going to be the letter. 
And so you're going to see here, when I refresh, I've got an A, and you'll see in the URL, letter guest is A, B, if I hit an I, and so all the letters as I press the button appear like this. Okay, last thing I want to do is let's make this um, even nicer by maybe having just six letters. Uh, a whole row of 20, 26 is kind of long. So let's break it into uh, maybe six, make it more of a box. And what I could do in that case is um, I could just put an if statement and I could, in the if statement, I can say, oh, if there's six, if x divided by six is zero, um, let's put add a break in there. So I'm gonna add that in here as well. So um, before I finish my loop, I'm gonna add this if statement. And if we're on the sixth letter or the 12th or the uh, 18th and 24th, I wanna add a break. And so now if I review what it looks like, it looks like this, and I, I like this style better, um, where I have a little block of the letters. Um, technically, what I should probably do here is actually put this inside a table so it looks a little tidier and I can space it up a bit, but that's for later uh, video. One last thing I should do is I should make it so um, when the game starts, I don't get a problem that there's no letter uh, in there. And um, I, I could use the is set. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna see if I have is set will test um, the URL that if there's something that I'm gonna get from the URL which is called letter guest. And so to get something from the URL, I go dollar sign underscore get and letter guest. And I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna stick that in the game here as well. So I wanna put that outside of my form and right at the very top of here, I'm gonna put in here, if there's something in the URL, then I'm gonna create a variable called uh, Actually, I don't like calling it letter. I'm going to call it current guess. And I'm going to say, you guess the letter and the current guess. <laughs> Let's save that and take a look at this. And so finally, uh, if I start the hangman game, it looks like this. Didn't end the PHP there, oops. So if I start the hangman game, it says hangman game. And then when I guess a letter, it says you guessed and that letter. Now notice if there's no letter guessed, I'll just delete that. It's of course not gonna say what letter you guessed, but if I guess an O, it's gonna say you guessed the letter O. Oh.